So this problem here is a basic algebra problem, but even if you don't know algebra, I think with common sense, most of you should still be able to figure this out. So don't run away from this problem if you're saying, oh, it's involving a variable X. You know, I don't know how to do algebra. Well, not so quick. I think, again, you can reason through uh, the solution. Let me go to read you the problem. Uh, the problem is 12 pencils cost X dollars. How much would 48 pencils cost? Okay, so again, you're going to be expressing your answer with this variable X. I don't want to give you too many hints, but uh, if you know how to figure this out, go ahead and put your uh, solution into the comment section, and then we're going to walk through the solution here. And the big picture topic is translating. We're going to be translating kind of like from the, uh, an English language or one language to another language. And the language here is English per se. It could be any uh, language, uh, you know, a uh, verbal language like Spanish, English. But we're going to be translating uh, what's going on here into an algebraic answer, okay? And your ability to translate from one language to another, okay, specifically like English to algebra, is critical in mathematics, okay? This is how we solve a variety of problems. And this is a nice basic problem to kind of go through these uh, concepts. But again, even if you don't know any algebra, I bet you could probably still figure this out. But uh, anyways, I'll show you all of this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make uh, learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is our problem. We have 12 pencils, it costs X dollars. How much would 48 pencils cost? All right, so let's just kind of use some common sense here. And I'm like, all right, I want to know the question, all right? Well, obviously we have a word problem here and it's not all that difficult. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, some of you out there hopefully have seen some of my other videos, but when it comes to any kind of uh, word problem, read the problem at least three times, read it one time, you know, just to get a sense of what's going on, read it again. And then the third time you uh, read it, make sure you understand the question. And the question here is how much would 48 pencils cost? Well, uh, this is pretty easy to figure out. If I'm like, okay, well, 48 pencils, how much is this going to cost? Well, if I knew how much each pencil cost, right? Let's say each uh, pencil was, oh, I don't know, let's say uh, 25 cents. Well, if I knew how much uh, each individual pencil cost, I just multiply that by 48 and then I would have the correct answer, right? So that's the kind of the first thing you want to do in this particular problem or any problem is reason through uh, how you would get uh, the, uh, to the solution. Don't get into, you know, writing this down. Just think about, all right, if I have this information and here's the question, how could I possibly get the answer? That's always the first component. So how much would 48 pencils cost? Well, again, if I knew how much in uh, one pencil cost, all right, I could figure this out. So probably it's a good idea to want to figure out how much one individual pencil cost, right? So it's kind of just uh, structure our ideas this way. How much does one pencil cost, right? Well, that answer, whatever that is, multiply that by 48, then we have solved the problem, okay? So this is the question. Uh, so we're going to have to use this part of the problem, this information right here, to figure out uh, how much one individual pencil costs, okay? Now, how can we do that? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. Okay, so uh, here, uh, let's suppose you didn't see what was going on. You're like, oh, I'm still confused. This is what I was talking about, uh, you know, kind of using common sense. So 12 pencils cost X dollars. Don't let this confuse you, okay? Now, if it is a little bit confusing, a great thing to do in math is to come up with a simplified uh, kind of example of what's going on. So in other words, 12 pencils cost X dollars. X just represents a number, right? So make up a number, okay, any number, but make it super easy so you can kind of think about how to do this problem with like, uh, you know, the mechanics of it, uh, if you will, right? So like, all right, what do I have to do in order to figure this out? Now, what if I wrote the problem this way? 12 pencils cost $12. Now, this would be a pretty expensive uh, pencil, right? <laughs> Maybe it has like lights on it or glows in the dark, who knows, right? 
but 12 pencils cost $12. How much does e each pencil cost right here? Now, most of you could be like, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's so easy. It would just be like $1, right, per pencil, okay? Uh, because if 12 pencils cost $12, well, that's a dollar per pencil. That's pretty easy, okay? But how are we getting to that answer? How would you calculate that, okay? Well, what we're doing here um, is we're taking the cost, right? We spent $12 and we're dividing by the number of pencils. This is going to give us our unit cost, okay? So, yes, we know it's a dollar, um, $1 per pencil, okay? Now, when you look at it this way, $1 per pencil, the dollar is in the numerator, but the pencil is down here in the denominator. In other words, I have $1 per pencil, okay? One pencil to be specific. So we're taking how much these uh, 12 pencils cost. That was $12, and we're divided by 12 pencils. So 12 goes into 12, 1. Okay, so this gives us the unit cost, $1 per one pencil, okay? So why do I bring this up? Why am I showing you this? You know, not to just bore you, but I want to uh, kind of show you how we are de uh, determining how much one pencil costs. What we're doing is we're taking the cost of all those pencils and we're dividing by the number of pencils, and this is the right strategy, okay? If we can do this mathematically, then when again, we can answer our bigger question, and that's what we're gonna do right now. But before we do that, I would hope that you could just take a microsecond and hit that subscribe button. Make sure to hit that notification bell um, as well. This tiny small act goes such a long way for my YouTube channel. Uh, and it's not just about me and my YouTube channel. What I'm trying to do is reach uh, other people that are interested in learning mathematics or, uh, you know, really need help in math, okay? If I can connect with those people, I can help with them, and that is my passion. The, you know, what my whole channel is about, what I do, is to try to teach math in a clear and understandable way, give people confidence that they can learn math. Unfortunately, so many people, the majority of people, 99.9% .9 of the people that are trying to learn math get frustrated and they give up too early, and it's not their fault. You just you don't have the right instruction and encouragement and support. So anyways, please subscribe. Matter of fact, when you do that, my facial expression will be like that. Okay, so back to the problem. So again, when you get stuck with any math problem, and you know, of course, when there's a variable involved and you're not sure what to do, well, replace a variable, okay? Try to simplify or look at an easier example. It's a really uh, great uh, strategy to solve a variety of math problems. Okay, so again, getting back to our you know original uh, thoughts here, we said, okay, how much does 48 pencils cost? Well, if I knew how much one pencil costs, I could just take that answer and multiply by 48. So I gotta figure out the unit cost of uh, these pencils. So I gotta go back over here, and what do we do? Well. In our simpler uh, example, when this was $12, we took the amount, the, the dollar amount, okay, that we spent on 12 pencils. So we took that amount and we divided it by 12, okay? So it's X dollars divided by 12 pencils. This would give us the unit amount, okay, in dollars, right? Because that's our unit, not pennies. So um, so we're gonna let's be very specific about this. Here is our dollar sign. So this is gonna be X dollars over 12 pencils. So one pencil cost us X over 12 dollars, okay? That's how much one pencil cost us. All right, so let's suppose one pencil cost, using our previous example, one dollar, right? When we simplify this, well, how much would 48 pencils cost? Easy, we just multiply one times 48 or 48. But in this uh, actual problem, one pencil cost us X over $12. Okay, so now that we know the cost of one pencil, this is going to be easy, right? So how much would 48 pencils cost? Well, how much does one pencil cost? It's X over $12. All right, fine. So to uh, get the cost of 48 pencils, we're going to take 48 and multiply it by X over 12, the cost of one pencil. And now here... We're just gonna be doing some basic algebra. So 48, you could think of this as 48 over one and we're multiplying fractions here, okay? Actually, if, uh, let me break this out because I hate to assume or I never want to assume that people understand the correct answer. So when you multiply fractions like one half times three fifths, remember you multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So this is one times three over two times five and that's how you uh, multiply fractions. Okay, so what we're doing here 
is no different. Okay, we have 48 or 48 over 1. And I just want to spell this out for some of you that still don't see the solution. Over uh, 12. So the correct answer is 48 times x over 1 times 12. And now you can uh, take this 12 and divide it into 48, which 48, of course, is uh, 4 times 12. Okay, so you have the common factor of 12, so we're left with 4x, right? Hopefully most of you can see that. 12 goes into 48 four times, so 4 times x is 4x. But 4x what? Dollars, okay? So again, when you're dealing with problems, math problems that have units of measure, you can't forget those units of measure. And this really comes up a lot in like geometry problems where there's area, volume, distance, you know, inches, feet, miles, things like that. Uh, oftentimes students will write their answer and forget the units of measure. Okay, got to really be paying attention. But uh, hopefully, you know, this was a nice kind of uh, introductory level problem into translating uh, an expression into a, an algebraic or mathematical expression. This is an absolutely key skill uh, to be successful in mathematics. And just like anything, if you're trying to learn another language, let's let's say you're trying to learn Spanish, are you going to try to speak very fluently and, you know, do... No, you're not going to start with the hard stuff. You're going to start with the very, very basic, simple stuff. And it's no different uh, when translating verbal uh, phrases into algebraic phrases. You want to get these kind of basic concepts down. And, of course, uh, these can get much more interesting. Now, if you want to practice translating... Uh, you know, uh, verbal things into algebraic concepts. Uh, I have a ton of additional videos on this on my YouTube channel, but you might want to check out like my algebra courses, uh, pre-algebra, algebra one. I'll leave links to the links to those in the description of this video. But uh, anyways, with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.